Yeah, hello YouTube, my name is Pau Kroon and I'm gonna be your host today in this video is on learning Power Apps. And today I want to talk to you about a new function which is just released with the Power App team and it's the concurrent formula. And let's go to Power Apps to see what this formula does and then I'm gonna show you how to use this formula. So here I have a, uh, a list of events and I used to make a video with uh, how to optimize the low performance of power apps and basically uh, in this video I said I trigger this toggle bar then this toggle bar is going to trigger the collect employees projects addresses and customers and because they are triggered uh, parallel to each other they kind of collect the data parallel to each other also but now we have the concurrent formula but let's first look how long it takes to collect these four boxes without a concurrent formula so look at the timer and we kind of trigger it takes three four so to collect four uh, collections from my sql database through flow it kind of it took me eight seconds so let's reset this and this gonna reset the collections and gonna reset my timer. And let's do my earlier approach by triggering this static toggle bar, which is gonna trigger these four. And it's gonna took oh it's ready already, so it took about one, two seconds. But normally it's gonna uh, increase your performance with two to four times based on uh the connection and uh, how your database looks so let's clear it again and let's do it again with a concurrent formula so you see it took me two seconds to collect my data let's one time do it without the concurrent formula and I trigger it again I got it to two three four five six seven six seconds so we have a performance improvement or of two to three times when we do it parallel to each other so let's look at the both formulas then so first without and then you see i set my timer to true and i set my timer to false at the end and between there i collect all my data in four lines and i use flow so i uh, run my flow collect the results in my employees projects addresses and customers and this line is gonna go off to each other so first it's gonna collect the employees then it's gonna collect the projects then it's gonna collect the address and after that it's gonna collect the customer and when we use the concurrent formula we just basically wrap these four lines around the concurrent formula and what the concurrent formula is going to do for us, it's going to run these four lines uh, at the same time, so parallel to each other. And that's increasing the load performance a lot because you don't have to wait for all the, uh, the calls to be ended after each other. You, uh, the time you have to wait is how long it takes to collect largest data set and the other ones will be ready before the largest so you don't have to wait the time extra so for me it basically means when i can use the concurrent formula for my static data i only have to use one toggle bar which i kind of trigger from my on start or my own visible parameter for the first uh, screen instead of uh, building one two three four extra toggle bars and sometimes even six or seven uh, to do the same trick so that's all for the concurrence formula very nice formula i really enjoy this i really like this that they build this formula it's going to take a lot of time of me so i hope you like it also and you learn how to use it and why it's important to use it in your apps so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos and i hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching